Hey, what's up, friends? It's me, Vindy, and Craftsdorf is here. Me, Craftsdorf. <laughs> and we watched Stampede, so we're going to talk about it. Uh, cause literally today and at about the same time. <laughs> yeah, I well, when I messaged you, I had literally just started the movie. Like, I, I had I literally started it like a few in. minutes before then. So yeah, <laughs> like I was right in the beginning of the movie, and so we probably and like when I saw you talking about it on my server after you finished, I had also already finished it. So right, <laughs> like yeah, basically we watched it at the same time, uh, not together, but yeah, and um. So I guess overall, like, non spoiler thoughts before we go into spoilers, or did you have anything else you want to yeah, say? Yeah, well, that's probably, uh, I think that's the main thing. I mean, I, I would say, you know, you check out Craft Store's channel, but I assume most people have done that, so. Yeah, yeah. and hopefully, like, if all goes well, I, I'm on my next One Piece video, I'm going to advertise this video because, you know, it's Stampede. And it's not mm-hmm. on one of my normal channels. Like, it's not on the Nen Show with, or, the, or on the MathWiz side channel where the Nen Show is. So, or my side channel or anything. It's on your channel. So, right. uh, you know, I'll point them here, hopefully. So, um, oh, well, maybe it would make sense to talk about what One Piece movies we've seen. Because I don't know. Uh, I don't know if how much of what I'm going to say is true of all One Piece movies or just this one. That's fair. But so, some background just in case. Because, um, mm-hmm. so how much have you seen? Because I know you've the- seen movie six. Right, so that's actually the only One Piece movie I've gotcha. seen. Uh, I've seen a couple episodes, and I, I mean, I you know, I'll watch like random moments from the anime. Uh, when I like, you know, there are some moments. I, I think I messaged you the other day. I was watching some uh, some Sanji moments from Whole Cake, and they they got mm-hmm. me emotional. Um, mm-hmm. But generally, it's like all I do is I watch. Like I've watched, I've seen movie six, and that's it. You've seen no, so you've seen none of the anime. Uh, excited, like you've never watched the whole episode. I mean. I think I've seen three... When I first got caught up, I was like, I'm going to watch the anime. And it was like super early in Whole Cake. And I watched four episodes. But it was at like this point in Whole Cake where half of the episode was recap. And then half <laughs> of the episode was was like the stuff. And it was like probably the most boring part of Whole Cake I mean, too. that's... Okay, yeah, I was about to say the recap, that's fairly normal. Um, is at, at, at that point in the, in the you know, series. Um, mm-hmm. But as for me, like I've, I've seen... You know, several hundred episodes in the anime. I I, draw, I stopped about like Sabote, the war area. Um, mm-hmm. I've seen all the filler arcs. Um, I've seen all the movies. Now that I've seen Stampede, at least. Um, so, oh. <laughs> like, I I was watching it back in 2006 on YouTube when the videos when each episode is uploaded into three different parts because YouTube tube had a like length limit. Um, mm-hmm. So. Gosh. yeah and of course before that i was watching the fucking like i got into it from the four kids stuff and i was like this is kind of neat but this is kind of weird then i looked it up online and i was like wow they changed a lot and censored a lot that's uh how could they do this and i start, i just started got i got into it from there so mm-hmm. um basically i have a uh, i have a pretty long history with the one piece anime in general so um i'm curious as to what you'll say considering this is literally the second movie you've seen and the right. like the, the like and like the what sixth fifth or sixth piece of like actual one piece like media counting episodes as individual pieces like um right you know or as the visual media you know you know what i meant animated tv mm-hmm. media so well because i i knew um, every all the straw hats voices because i've played a couple one piece games mm, uh yeah 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 so like i'd already heard all the straw hats voices which are all perfect by the way just i, I know that everyone says that but i think it is important <laughs> to know that every yeah. voice for every straw hat is like perfect for the character um so yeah so i knew like you know, it becomes, like, you know some of the visual things that the anime does. But there was some stuff here, like, I hadn't seen how they do Conqueror's Hockey. So, when that showed up, it was, like, really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so, that was, like, kind of nice. And that's why I might watch more of the movies. Because it is nice seeing the way the anime handles certain things that you never really get to see. Uh, but yeah. I, I don't know how much of what I enjoyed in this movie was in all the movies or was specifically this. Because... I don't know. I remember hearing a lot of hype for Stampede as it was like coming out, and when people were like seeing it in theaters, everyone was like super big on it. Uh, mm-hmm. It said that it was a super fun movie, which made yeah. me excited to watch it. Yeah, I quite and I did quite like it. So I guess to give you know general uh, thoughts and um, it's yeah, it's a One Piece movie. If you you like One Piece, consider watching it. Um, the things that it spoils for the series have already happened in the manga, so you know yeah. Um, I, I'm surprised that it spoiled what it did, uh, which I still don't want to completely give spoilers, but 
If you're I, current I, on the see, manga, there's that, no big yeah, spoiler. That, well, that's what I'm not sure is how many like anime onlys would be watching this. Um, mm. But there was, um, you know, an, a name for a place that was mentioned in the movie. And then there was a scene, specifically a flashback scene with Roger that also shows up in a flashback in the manga. Um, mm hmm. So and those are the the big the ones that I, are I'm I'm thinking of right now that um because this movie came aired in Japan in August so before uh, the flash the recent manga flashback even started so um, right which makes me think they had to have talked to Oda about it then I assume yes no this was he even said something in an interview about how like he wants like you know he 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 doesn't want the manga to be this like it's the main thing but he still wants to like you know he's fine with like th doing this and teasing upcoming manga things in other media sort of like that's really um, cool and there there's a character in this who i'm pretty sure i, I don't think he's shown up in the manga or at least I, I, I wouldn't recognize and i would love to see him show up in the manga yeah even in just a flashback or something but um mm -hmm. no i don't remember seeing him in, or i haven't seen him in the manga since and he would have you know it would have been that's because like um with um strong world the um the eighth film with uh, it has the character Gold Lion Shiki, who was um, you've actually he's actually been mentioned in the manga a couple of times. He was mentioned by um, Sengoku to be the first person to imp escape Impel Down back when Luffy was breaking in at the start of that arc. And mm -hmm. he was mentioned much more recently in um, regarding a character named Rox because he was on that crew as well. OK, as so he's on Rox's big... crew. Yes. And he's the main antagonist of the movie Strong World. And there's also Chapter Zero, which is like a prequel to Strong World. But it's actually like it's a manga chapter that shows basically every character in the manga who'd been introduced at that point who was alive during that like that 20 year ago time period. So mm -hmm. it's like, um, you know, so yeah strong road strong road so that so he's already like it's oh and he actually like had a more of a oda had more of a hand in writing the film trilogy which was strong world z or Z and gold um which i need to rewatch some of those but um i did quite like them so i definitely say like okay. after you know a lot of people re recommend movie six but the film trilogy is also pretty solid like um, well, I want to say before people really start <laughs> saying that I don't like movie six. I know, personally. I know, I understand um, your issue with it. Um, I still like I don't the get movie. For that. But, I might um, make. Well, I, this made me think I might want to watch all the One Piece movies and do like a podcast on all of them. Yeah, um, that would be interesting because I haven't seen many. Like I watched a lot of these movies like once when I was first getting into One Piece, and then never again because um, a lot of them aren't very good. Well, that that's the problem, right? Is I don't want to watch like really bad ones, but like this movie was. Yeah, because you said you enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. It was, I, you know, I, I think the best way to describe it is, like, the movie wasn't the best as a movie. Like, even its theme, which is a very, you know, it's a theme that's entrenched in One Piece. But inside the movie, it's very surface level. But yeah, it didn't just, take much. But, it, uh, you know, beyond, like, what the series has already explored. But it was just, you know, it's it's a, a slightly, it's very slightly, like, very slight different take. You know, but it's mostly stuff right. we've already kind of seen. But it's like, yeah, it, it's... Anyway, or maybe we took a bit different stuff from the movie too, so we'll talk about that. Right, um, but the big thing for me was just that it, it's it's a very it, if you're a fan of One Piece, you should probably watch the movie because the entire movie is just like, hey, look, here's this character you love, here's this character you love. <laughs> the first here's like five minutes, there's like a montage that has so many cameos. I was literally like, should I go this frame, go through this frame by frame? Because holy shit, I was taking because I was watching this movie and talking to people who have read it. And I was like, oh my god, this character show. And I had to stop saying all the characters that were showing up because it just got to a point where it was like every 30 seconds, I was like, no. oh my god, this character's here. And some of them are so small. Like there was one part where I paused it because um the you know the family from movie six with the like the dad the fam the four, mm -hmm. the dad and the Yeah, they were, oh, they I were didn't like, notice them. No, because I, I have to go find the screen cap again because it's like so small. I only like kind of noticed the dad's hat and then I was like, wait, and I paused it and all four of them were there. And uh, it, it was in a big crowd shot, so it's like, there's like, uh, <laughs> it, it was it's kind uh, of the, crazy how much the, like, there is no chill with like they're like okay what character can we reasonably show at any point in the movie like no it doesn't make sense for like Hachi and Kami to be on the uh, or you know so entire or or and serving to Konis you know that doesn't make any sense but they're there you know it's, well the it's, entire movie doesn't make sense when no you of course in general it takes no place, none, it takes none place of the in between. Do. Almost Whole Cake movies. Island and <laughs> and Wano, but Reverie. the whole crew's together. And no, it's or... specifically before Reverie because the oh, Shichu right. Kai are in it. You're right. Yeah, and then um, yeah, right. So that doesn't make sense in the first place. And then also the Straw Hats are all together, and characters who are like like you know should be imprisoned 
but other characters aren't, or all that, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. So, you know, they don't get, they kind of didn't give a fuck, and they just did, you know, because that's, it's not the, it's not, making it, like, fit into the timeline isn't the point. The point is just to be a fun, written, crazy movie, and it was, uh, it was a fun ride, and, you know, that's all it needed to be. So right, um, and it, it was a nice way to see to show off. Like there were some things that showed off, and we'll talk about. Them, but there were some things that showed that I was happy to see that they could only show because they were placing it in at a certain point in the timeline. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like there was a couple times when characters interact, and I'm like, oh my god, is this actually happening? <laughs> like I get to like because that's what's part of the appeal of the Reverie arc, where you get to see like fucking um vivi shirahoshi and rebecca are making a luffy fan club in the capital of the world government right. and dalton comes in and he's like i'm a fan of luffy too like that it, it the crossovers between a characters from these different arcs that are so separated otherwise and like and you get some of that here even though it's not canon obviously but you still get like yeah, we'll talk about it later but well, um, what i liked about the one in this one really quickly is just that it was it was the same as reverie in that sense but this time it was the pirate, so there was fighting. Yeah, and, you're, yes. And speaking of the fight, I, I thought the movie looked like phenomenal. Outside of some kind of bad CG, <laughs> most of the yeah. 2D animation looked great. Like there and was even some the bad CG for- was just the one character, pretty much. Um, right. So and yeah, because I, I I said it on my server, but um. Like, I, I don't mostly don't want to compare it like visually and stuff like try and say, hmm, which is better between this and movie six, because movie six is heavily stylized and it does have some really mm-hmm. good visual stuff. Um, but this is the best looking One Piece movie that actually looks like how the series normally looks like. Mm-hmm. Um, and probably you know, it, it, like I've seen, I've seen some cool Sakuga and stuff, but this is like consistently like really good. And it has a lot of moments like that. Like, they yeah. just let's go all in and just make this a big fun celebration of One Piece. And they did. And it was well, fun and cool. Yeah, especially the early. Uh, I mean, it like was. A, the... I think it was the twentieth year uh, anniversary of the anime, so that's what what the okay, celebration that makes was. Sense. So, or what were you gonna say? Well, I was just say a lot of the like, especially in the early scenes where there isn't the big CG man and it's just two D animate. Like, there's two specific, mainly one specific scene I'm thinking of, where it's just kind of using it as an excuse to have the characters do stuff, and like they're going all out with the animation. Uh, and it's really nice. Yes, it was. It was fun. I definitely, you know, it, um, it's and yeah, especially if you do like One Piece and will under recognize all the references. And you know, the more you're into One Piece, the more you'll get. Like at least in the regards to references, like the more you'll get out of it. Because like I've seen um, some people point out like some like obscure references. They like they've filler characters from literally like one episode that aired like um 19 years ago you know it's like mm-hmm. um because I, I i i saw her there was like an episode of on log town where like sanji enters this cooking contest against a lady who's like all in red and her hair is kind of looks like fire and i saw her for like uh, one cut of that opening montage and i'm like yep uh, you know did, what do, what like the, the, everybody's here except paluigi um yeah i was gonna say it, it i it even felt like yeah like the smash ultimate like every character that you would even characters that like from arcs people don't like were here. <laughs> yeah. Um and like obviously they didn't force everyone in the movie. Like they they're you know, lots of characters, big players, like, you know, the most of the emperors, you know, or actually Look, all the emperors. They yeah, put characters like who are dead in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's that's how deep it goes with just make giving you fan service that like every t- it feels like instead of trying to make like a great movie they wanted to make a great like so a movie that people who are fans of one piece would be satisfied with yeah like um and i guess some other sort of uh notes um is that like um well because like some people said oh it feels end game and i i didn't see that <laughs> um like it felt mm-hmm. big but not end game um like no. but i guess like the idea of like everyone teaming up together is like because is you know the, like some of the, the the teamups that happen are pretty like you know shake you know like oh that's that's interesting to see that happen um and then right. also apparently but i want to say because like you know it was all big and cool and people were like whoa and oda's like i have stuff planned that makes this movie look cute 
God, that I didn't know he said that. That's that legitimately scares me because like oh, is scary, man. <laughs> the team up just just the team up in the climax of this movie. We'll talk more about it in specifics, but the team up that happens in the climax of this movie had me like losing my mind. I was I was like, I will so never cool. I sh- I should never see these characters teaming up doing moves together, but I am and I'm loving it. It's like yeah, that's and that's kind of like what it cuz like it definitely like you know, does it make a lot of sense? No. Like a lot of, and like a lot of what, even what we see about some of these characters is like the most surface level stuff. Like it, no, it does not have Oda's great like writing, but Mm -hmm. you know, it's fun and it's cool. And it's, it's, you know, it's good enough to like, you know, not like it doesn't, you know, if, if you're the kind of person who gets bothered by that stuff, then you're probably not going to, you know, you're probably going to get bothered by it, but I like, it's a non-canon movie. What do you expect? And you know, if you go into that with that in mind, like it's a really fun time. (laughs) Yeah. Like you shouldn't expect a, uh, like don't expect a manga arc from the movie, but if you just go in expecting kind of, yeah, like a fan service-y fun kind of, what's the word that like comic books use? Like an, uh, an else world story, I think is. Yeah. Like a what if. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Like a what if. if. Uh, then I think, Especially if you're a fan of One Piece and like the fun kind of adventure aspects of One Piece, you'll probably really enjoy it. Yep. Um, I think that sounds like about all we have to say, non-spoilers. Um, yeah, I think everything else I want to say is hard spoiler shit. Yeah. So, so if you haven't seen it, uh, check it out. Come back. If you have seen it, uh, proceed onward um, without fear. Um, yeah. So right. yeah, Chad Usopp. Um, the fa- look when God Usopp is the reason that he's the coolest character in the movie. I can't believe that they made Usopp the the person who saves the day. See, because I I was even like literally thinking before that moment, you know, it's like yeah, I, I you know this is cool, but I, I wish the other Starlet's got a little bit more to do because um, usually the normal movie formula is like Zoro and Sanji get a fight because they're the monster trio and they're also two of the most other popular characters in the movie after Luffy who who obviously gets the main fight well they um, did some they did some cool shit yeah. but yeah yeah but even then like this movie had like compared to the other movies the, obviously like there's so many other characters that the Straw Hats mm-hmm. in general get like the least focus like they're running around and stuff but like yeah Zoro gets gets a cool moment because he's Zoro uh, Sanji uh, has, a, has a couple moments with, like he fight he he scores i was like is he squaring up with rob fucking lucci right now is this I, happening oh, that was awesome <laughs> I, I was so happy yeah but then but then usopp fucking saves the day and i'm like yes 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 and it, it's so perfect because it even like there's the moment where he's shooting the little he's shooting like the little seeds and even in my head i was like okay usopp is playing like he's planning something because he that's who Usopp is, right? He yeah, he's right. not dumb because the guy was calling Usopp dumb, and it's like Usopp is definitely not dumb. He's definitely not just shooting these seeds to shoot the seeds, right? There's some plan, but then you almost you know you think that it was just taking down the one finger he did, and you're like, okay, you know, he's cool. Usopp's not supposed to be this strong guy, but it the thing that I loved about it is it even fit in with kind of what I thought the movie was kind of saying thematically about like, you know, working with other people and like the friendship. Bullshit. Yeah. It definitely has the, you know, the lo- single versus together kind of thing. Cause it Doug like Douglas, he's Togoro. He's like, I, you know, you can't achieve this level of power that I have alone. Uh, shed all your, like, which is obviously like, we know Luffy, he doesn't want to, he, you know, being alone right. is worse than being hurt. He would never do that. And yeah, Usopp just straight up proves him wrong by being instrumental in taking him down. And it, <laughs> that's well, so the, cool. The movie has one of my favorite ideas in One Piece, which is I love anytime it's just the Straw Hats kind of agree to entrust everything to Luffy. Like there was this moment where I think that everyone's together and I, I'm pretty sure it was Sanji who said it, but one of the straw hats said a line along the lines of like, all we can do, or let's tr- assume, let's trust that Luffy's going to win and go under the assumption that he'll win. Um, yeah. I think it was Sanji said that. And like, I love any time that that's what goes on. Or and yeah, that no, was- he was like, let's assume that Luffy gets the treasure. Like they didn't, he did like he sent um, Brooke and Chopper, Chopper to go after Luffy just to tell him about the Buster call, you know, not to right. like, oh, Luffy's, he might, you know, he might not be able to get the treasure alone. Go help him. No, he's like, yeah, Luffy can do it if he said, you know, he said he's going to do it. So you go give him this information that he won't have otherwise while we, you know, they they went to go find them after the island so that they could have an escape route later. But, um, 
Uh, yeah, no. And uh, so <laughs> you were talking about how like this movie emotionally manipulated me and it wasn't fair. And I was like, I knew what it was. Yeah. But, um, well, <laughs> well, we'll go I, back to Usopp because I, w- I just want to bring up emotions in general. <laughs> so Right. Well, the thing I loved is that, well, we'll talk about the emotional manipulation immediately okay. after the Usopp thing. But I, what I loved was that his entire plan was based around the idea that like Luffy's going to kick his ass and then I help after that. And the fact that he brings back up the line from the beginning where Nami was like, you're chicken. You don't want to go out there. He's like, the sniper's job is to assist from right. afar. Yeah. And then he does it and he's like, a sniper's <laughs> job was to assist from afar. I was, <laughs> Who's up? Yeah. Um, I couldn't believe he was well, so see, cool. Well, see, the other really good moment that surprised me and uh, got tears out of me, like, there were two moments and was when Usopp, like, Usopp did the Luffy thing. Like, because Luffy's done it twice, where he's been with someone who's, like, you know, he's more hurt than, and he's, like, you know, like, with Kureha and in Impel Down, um, you know, uh, he, with, um, Ivankov, and he's, like, no, take care of my friend. And that, but Usopp did that with Luffy. And, I, oh, that's, surpri- yeah. that just surprised me. And I was, and I just I thought it was interesting because Luffy usually takes everything onto himself, uh, and, but he doesn't want any other people hurt. And so, I don't know, um... I was trying to think of that, like, because it's hard to think about that in response in regards to Luffy's arc, because like even just bet- from like Whole Cake Island onto Wano, like Luffy's already like advanced on the whole Reliance thing in other ways, and um, so like trying to play that against Usopp, who a character who um, you know, they separated in Dressrosa, <laughs> and so right, and well, I love that it even fits with. I like that the movie is you know kind of acknowledging the idea with Usopp where he is starting to become more of this warrior and this like, actual person that he wanted to be. And, like, he is legitimately being cool, even in the manga, as opposed to when he was just doing nothing. Yeah, like, well, because, you know, he went after Douglas Bullet, just, you know, which is comparable to when he went after Treble, but, like, of course, you know, with Treble, like, it was, you know, he was really afraid, and he wasn't necessarily, like, directly saving crewmates. But with this, it was, like, Luffy, and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna save my captain, even if I have to go against, like, literally one of the strongest characters we've seen in action, <laughs> like... Right, which, which fit perfectly <laughs> with even, you know, when you look in Dress Rosa and him awakening hockey, it was for Luffy. Right, right? So yes, I like I, you did mention that, similar... I forgot about that, yes. Um, yeah, like, like Luffy's one, in both right, ways, because they don't want each other hurt. But um, ah, yeah, no, um, that that moment happened, and I don't know. It's just like like seeing someone else do, like Usopp of all characters too b- doing the Luffy thing was just, like it, it's not like if like obviously if Oda does it, it there's gonna be like five, like a, a bunch more to it because you know he mm-hmm. he's Oda and he's gonna you know um he's he's just like he knows his characters the best of course um so if if I see but if I see something like that in the series that'd be cool. Um. Oh. Um. Okay. Are we gonna talk about how it's emotionally <laughs> manipulated by this movie, and it's not fair? Yeah, it was Ace. Yeah, you can't just show Ace in Sabo's flames and show they... this big dumb smile on Luffy's face as he sees it, and expect me to not get emotional. <laughs> well, they fucking introduce this character who has this power. She shows off her power in the beginning of the movie, then is literally just there in the background, not using her power, and then at the end of the movie, she uses the power to, to make the ace uh, image, and it's like, like, they introduce a character purely to fuck with your emotions, and I, of course, I got teary-eyed, because I'm like, you can't, you can't do that. You can't it, do that. It was so fucked up. <laughs> and, like, Luffy's well, see, react, like When you were talking about it, I was like, like, look, if you like gave me three moments the ace one and two other mo- moments from the movie like i don't even think you could come up with two other mo- m- moments that would disguise the fact that it was the ace moment that got you emotionally manipulated like because right. i know no. how much you care about ace and how much you like him you know like right. obviously like what else would where it would do that <laughs> yeah well and it's it's the fact that it's not even just the fact that it was ace but it's the fact that it's ace in sabo's double fruit yes. which is aces and like the entire idea of Ace having passed down his devil fruit to Sabo, I loved in Dress Rosa. And so then the fact that they take that and kind of keep going with it is... Yes. In, it, it, I love it. Um, Do you want to name drop some of the people that, like, I couldn't... I was so happy Don't, to see I'm, in the movie? Yeah, well, like, I, you know, I, I had fun, but I also, you know, I've seen these characters a lot over the, the, the years, so... Um, you but because you've only read the series once, like three years ago. Then you saw one movie, four episodes, and now this movie. So I'm curious as to how you felt seeing some of these characters again for the first time in years. Actually, 
the biggest one for me that I was so happy was in the movie and every scene he was in, he's just a joy is Bar- Bartolomeo. Yes. Uh, is <laughs> he, every time I see him, I just love him more. I, I forgot. I had forgotten what his ship looked like. I forgot there was just a big Luffy on the that front That was, of it. okay. There was a really funny little bit because Nami, uh, she's, she just goes like, oh, what the fuck is that thing? Uh, or she gives some kind of like disgusted reaction, which is perfect because she hasn't seen the ship. Like, right. um, so I was just, I, I, that was like a funny little detail, um, which in the movie, another little moment that, that like was like that when early in the movie, when Chopper and Luffy were like full and fat from eating, um, like that, it like cuts away from them and it cuts back and Luffy's like, okay, let's go. And he's perfectly skinny again. And Chopper I, just goes like, eh, like what? <laughs> like, Chopper's so... still fat. I love, yeah. Cause he was still fat. And, like, <laughs> it's just a cut about Luffy's just normal. Um, it was, so, it was funny. The, the interactions between the Straw Hats, and it, I feel like it was cheap. It, it was lessened for me because we finally got to see everyone together again in the most recent chapter. But seeing them all like interact in like a lighthearted way again is so nice. Yeah, no, and, and it's um, even like little things. Like I love all their outfits throughout the movie. <laughs> Specifically, Brooke's outfit. Oh yeah, well, I was gonna shirt say with the little tie on it. Yeah, there's that's what I was gonna mention because it's so stupid, but it's so perfect. <laughs> What were you going to say about Brooke's Brooke's outfit? Brooke's cotton candy hair and the shirt that said Summer Bod on it. (laughs) (laughs) And there were like small jokes I loved, like Nami winning a... uh, Nami won a... A beauty contest, Beauty pageant. Yeah, she won a beauty pageant for money. But then the person who got like second place was one of Ivan's... Uh, <laughs> girl. Yeah, yeah, I no, like. yes. <laughs> I didn't. I, I saw her in the thing, but I didn't. I didn't see that they won second, which is great. Well, I assume <laughs> because it was at the end and it was like had them all lined up that she was like second or third because that's oh, okay. like generally how gotcha. you line people up like that. Gotcha. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, that was not, that was funny. I like. Look, I was. I think the two I was most surprised to see were Wapple and Foxy. Mm-hmm. I didn't expect Well, Wapole was kind of weird because he's a he's a king now. He's part of the government. Like, there's a part where he's, like, right. trying to escape the Marines, and I'm like, but you're a king. Like, I guess it's pretty incriminating to be here on this pirate island, but, um, you know, so that was that was definitely, mm-hmm. a, 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 you know, one that kind of made me go, like, huh, uh, you're, that's weird, um, you know, but, um, and the other thing, or no, or what, or, and yeah, fun. and of course they also, like, in the escape, like, Foxy getting turned to stone when Bo Hancock went through, like... <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Sad. Rest in peace. Um, well, Because I, I feel like this did... It, it. I don't know how many One Piece movies, because the two I've seen have this kind of structure where it starts, and, like, the first, like, 30 minutes are this very lighthearted, fun adventure where it just shows the Straw Hats doing cool stuff. You know, like, the scene I mentioned earlier where I thought was just an excuse to show great animation is when the, when the Sunny first lands... And everyone kind of rushes out to go do uh, to go chase down yes. the treasure. That scene where you see like all you just they made it just to give you these clashes that you want to see, kind of. Yeah, like, like yeah, Luffy, Luffy fighting Luffy. a bunch of their supernovas. You see, not like Nami uses Zeus and makes a big old thunderbolt, and you know Frankie shooting lasers. Like yeah, just straw hat cool things. Yeah, um, like uh, Robin uh, when they you know fly the su- Sark submer- submerged down. She uses her wings so they don't all die. Mm-hmm. Right. You see um, Sanji fight Smoker, which was great. Yes. And then um, later, L- Luchi, like we mentioned, uh, Zoro fucking cuts a meteor in half. And then Mihawk is like... Mihawk, <laughs> Zoro has to jump towards it. Mihawk cuts it into all these pieces, which is like, a, I assume, just a flick of his hand, considering he didn't even move. Yeah, he's fucking Mihawk. <laughs> like... <laughs> it, the thing that that I couldn't under, like couldn't get over is how constantly throughout the course of the movie, it's like... You think from the intro, you're like, okay, this is a lot of, like, I, even from the intro, I was like, this is a lot of characters. I can't believe there are already this many. And then it continues to introduce, like, <laughs> then Mihawk and Proto show up, and Sabo shows up, and now Rob Lucci's here, and... Well, he, Rob Lucci was there in the beginning, because there was the part where, um, Festo... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, he was like, don't tell the Marines that we're here, and then Rob Lucci walks by, and I'm like, oh, well, the government's already here, so what can you do? Um... <laughs> So that yeah. was that was funny. Um and it just continues piling on the people that are there. Well, like it, one of the one of the interactions I didn't fucking expect was uh Robin and, and Law and I think maybe I think it was just them were going by Crocodile comes in and I he, lost my shit when Crocodile showed up. Oh my god. Well, cuz not only are, is he interacting with Robin for the first time since Alabasta, you know, at least not non-canonically, but still it was interesting to see that. 
Um, because, yeah, and then he, you know, he called her Miss All Sunday, which I love. Yes, loved. fucking cheeky bitch. And then he he's like, hey, Law, I'm smart. You're smart. Let's go bang. And they do. Um, <laughs> which, I, that, that was just, it was cool. Because it's like, yeah, um, that's a, one of those reverie-style interactions that we haven't, obviously, have not seen, but would be really cool to see. And it was cool right. to see it. And it's obviously only possible because Otis created this massive world with all of these characters that we can then see interact. Yes. Uh, and the, uh, yeah, it's... And well, it, another it, one, the movie takes advantage of it, I feel. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, there, one slight missed opportunity was in the very like beginning of the movie where Buggy's chasing down Law. I would have loved to see Law like try to use his powers on Buggy and then Buggy just look out like... No. Oh, that would have been funny. And especially if like, some of his men had seen it and be like, whoa, Buggy's going up against one of the warlords of the sea. Like, you know, that kind of thing. Like, because <laughs> that's how it goes. And right, and he so... could have made a joke like, I have one of the war- Well, I already like the one joke where oh, yeah. he, he wake like the Marines, he sees the Marines and he's like, uh, he says like, don't you know who I am or something? And he's like, oh shit, it's the Marines. He's like, wait, I'm one of the Shichibukai. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> Um, I also like just the fact that he was in the Douglas Bullet fight. Like he wasn't contributing at all, but he was there, yeah, and so he he, more there. more reasons for his crew to deify him. Like what, Buggy the, single handedly that... took down Douglas Bullet. <laughs> Truly, the, the real our heir of Roger. <laughs> yeah, well, it was so funny because there was that moment where like he's trying to run away, and Law uses his power and pulls everyone's <laughs> head in on the same place, and he pulls Buggy in too. That was so good. <laughs> Oh my god. And yeah, just the whole crossover fight at the end where you've got like like what? Um the Luffy Law Alliance, um a warlord or two warlords if you count Buggy, um, you got Smoker of the Smoker. Marine, Sabo the Revolutionary, Luchi wasn't an ally, but he's st- like Cypherful Zero's there, and they all kind of fight like no, L- Luchi did help with uh, when Buggy did his muggy ball and it did nothing, and then Luchi kinda of uses his like he they're all fi- like they're all fucking fighting Douglas Ball. Like every organization is fighting him, and it's like what the what what? Yeah, is this real? We're seeing seeing specifically like Sabo, uh Smoker, Boa Hancock, Law. Luffy and who was the one other person? I feel like there's another one. There might not have been, uh, but like all of them work together in the same fight. Even just Sabo and Smoker would have been enough. Where it's like, all right, well, <laughs> yeah, and they're all people who had recently worked. Like except for Buggy or kind of. Well, no, Buggy's worked with Luffy, but definitely Luchi. I can't see it. Um, at least not mm. now without like you know him coming back to story in One Piece and doing you know but like all these characters would reasonably work with Luffy as it is so it, it, right. it makes sense and um, it, it's so cool to see them yeah all, uh, it, yeah it's, it's just it's cool the movie's cool what more do you want <laughs> yeah and we haven't even touched on like I like the soundtrack to the movie a lot I thought a lot of the songs playing were like really good and then it obviously played We Are in the climax <laughs> yes. which was it's funny because I. Even though I haven't seen any of the One Piece anime, because it's so synonymous with One Piece, it, it's, like it is, yeah. They, I they... feel like I have an emotional connection to We Are, where like I got a little emotional when it played, and I haven't even seen the anime when it plays, you know? Right, right. Um, it's and because they well, even if you did, you know, they still play it during key moments. Like they played it with uh, when they go up the knockup stream. They played like an instrumental version when uh, Sanji wants to go back to Sunny. Like they still play it enough that like with major moments that you know even mm. if. Uh, even if you haven't watched those earlier episodes, it's still like, you know, like, again, we we talked about the one uh, Sakura Miko where uh, the VTuber where she's fucking playing GTA 5 and in the ocean and she's just fucking seeing We Are. Yeah, like, well, tr- yeah, <laughs> which yeah, got yeah. better because later, like, as the song's still playing, oh, yeah, she yeah. runs into the guy who looks like Ace and it's like, <laughs> and she's like, aren't you supposed to be dead? <laughs> <laughs> it was so perfect. Um, but you know, yeah, it's definitely a very like, yeah, it's it's a song. It's the first opening, and of course they're gonna play it in the twentieth anniversary movie, and it was perfect. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, it just felt like the movie was everything. It, the movie is everything I would personally want from a One Piece movie. Because if I'm gonna sit down to watch a One Piece movie, I'm not expecting some great movie that's gonna really make me think about the series in a different way. Because right. Right. At the end of the day, if I wanted some, if I wanted good One Piece, I would just reread the manga. <laughs> yeah, basically, right. So, or or I would specifically, if I want a good One Piece anime, I'd watch what Oda's written. Yeah, something yeah. I would watch something canon that is going to actually matter. 
So if I'm going to sit down and watch like a non-canon One Piece movie, you just I want, want it to time, be something right. fun. And right. Like, I don't want like, to have yeah. to think about where it would fit into the canon. The only reason I know where it fits in is because we got to see Snake Man and we saw... And they mentioned at one point Luffy has a one and a half billion. Yes. Yeah. When he when he was the, the, like he was going in and they're they're giving the man the respect he fucking deserves. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, how do you diss a one point five billion bounty? Like he's he's a, like they they didn't say the fifth emperor, but or one of the five you know one of the emperors, but uh, he is you know. So respect the man. He deserves it. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, no, it was uh trying to think of what else i have to say um i'm trying to think i because there was so much that was just like enjoyable about the movie that because like i'm looking through my screenshots because i take a couple i have the screenshot of the the luffy and chopper being fat from eating too much <laughs> and there was even a funny joke that it's like she's upset at them because she's like we have like an actual thing to do don't eat so much and nami who's yelling at them has this like seven scoop ice cream cone in her hand and she's yelling at him <laughs> yeah i think someone said or I, I think someone said a response to that with like you know referring to that but it's, it's yeah funny. i think it, yeah someone was like you're one to talk there was okay here's a, a screenshot that this got this also a little kind of emotionally manipulated me more than it needed to it's when so when usopp is thinking and he's like thinking about his crew and it's showing all like these yes. shots of all of his moments did you notice that jimbe is on the boat here because i noticed that jimbe was on the oh, boat here that was uh on fishman island yeah um right but it's just that like yeah no but it, he's in the yeah he's in the group shot and it's like I, join, let, join let the fish boy join oda <laughs> no yeah it's i, I want to see him with the crew too um for real i want to see the fish uncle be the good fish uncle <laughs> so. right and so it i love the like the admission of um or just i love any time because he hasn't officially joined yet anytime it, it has the strides it puts jimbe with him i get excited because i'm like oh my god he is joining i can't wait for him yeah to he was finally on back. he was a finally on a cover spread recently with all the straw hats and uh, see apparently because I, I've, I've i've told you already but oda did say that like the reason he hasn't appeared on the color spreads yet is because there's like an appearance a design spoiler so it's like, you know, mm-hmm. in some way he was presumably wounded or scarred or, you know, that he doesn't want to spoil beforehand. So after he shows up, he'll finally start appearing on the cover spreads and we get to see Jinbei with the family being a straw hat, like, you know, dicking around, like with animals and all the goofy, because the spreads are really, you know, fun and, and they're just, it's, they're just really light and all the, they're just chilling, you know, and it's, it's cool. And it'd be cool to see Jinbei finally there with them chilling. So. Right. Um, That's, you know, and I get why he's not in the movie because he hasn't officially joined yet, but that is the one thing I think that even if it doesn't make sense, I would have liked to see his Jimbe there. Uh, I mean, yeah. Cause it's like Luffy is, you know, got the bounty, but also kind of whole cake out, you know, like it's, it's not supposed to fit in the timeline. So Jimbe appearing in some fashion would have been cool, you know? Right. Um, like even if just like in the ocean, like fighting the Marines, uh, uh, fuck it. Who cares? <laughs> so, you know, so like like with the Fishman Pirates, I don't know, you know, show show Prawley and show it doesn't matter. Should throw German in there? Who cares? It's a fucking. I would have been okay if a small group of the like the um the Charlotte Pirates were there, right? Like maybe caught a, like Smoothie brought like a mm-hmm. small group of because Beige was there. All right. Yeah. You know, I loved seeing Beige. I love him, and it was great that he was there. I liked every. I like the idea of the worst generation. And there even was this whole thing where it feels like he's kind of testing the worst generation. Yeah, and, and he fucking trounces that. them. <laughs> yeah, when he's solo, like, the moment where he kind of takes all of their... Like, they combine attack him all at once. He takes it all and just gets up and walks it off. It is insane. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it was cool to see all the powers. Like, I guess there was technically a Wano split. Because I, I, was, I was noticing it because... Um, Mathwiz, I you know hasn't read any of Wano, so I'm like, can she see this movie? And they're like, Basil Hawkins used like one attack that he uses on Wano, and that's like the only that's like it. So it's like they 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 pull a little bit from later, um, right? And but, obviously, Laugh Tale. Yeah, yeah. Well, that you know that stuff that didn't even happen in the manga by the time the movie came out, right? Yeah. Right. Um, but uh, no, it was yeah, it was cool to see the Lord's Generation all fighting and stuff because like some again some of these characters we haven't really seen a lot like Rouge like we know like he was going toe to toe with Luffy for a bit um not Gear Fourth Luffy but still um you know and we know that he beat one of the sweet commanders so it's like you know what's a Rouge's deal like 
I want to see more of these guys. So it's cool to see them. You know, Bonnie doesn't actually have her crew anymore, but you know, so like they fudged that, but uh, she was there. Right. Um, I like seeing her. I, what, one thing I liked is because captain kid is now in Wano and like is doing things with law and Luffy. And there's yes. like this kind of weird law Luffy kid Alliance going on. It was nice yes. seeing him in the movie because he's yeah. a character that outside of, you know, a small section in Shibati, we don't, we haven't really seen much of, I, and now we get to see yes. more of him. And I like well, it. I like the part in the movie where like Luffy does a gear third fist and Kid does a giant fist and Douglas Bullet dodges it and they like hit each other and they're like, get out of my way. Like, <laughs> like oh yeah, that was kidding. nice. It, it remind it was funny to me because that interaction is the exact same as the interactions they had in the most recent chapter right. where they were kind of arguing over who got to go first and who got to fight. And I was like, wow, like it's the same interaction in this right. movie that was a cup that's months old and the current model well, was kind of similar it. to their one on and on Sabote too but uh yeah right. it was uh um and i guess to talk about recent manga stuff i was surprised to see the uh the lines about like Ro- for, about roger and Rayleigh talking about how um we you know we weren't the ones uh oh my son though um you know the stuff that was mentioned in the flashback um right so that was that was you know cool um uh what else um uh there was some yeah there was some small stuff i there was one small thing i i picked up on and i'm sure it's happened before but i i maybe didn't notice it but there was a part where buggy was talking about roger and he called him captain roger and i was like oh i like that because you know he wouldn't call him just roger because roger was captain of course he would call him captain roger uh and those are always the the like little touches i always enjoy seeing Mm -hmm. And then, I think, outside of the Ace moment, I think, honestly, my favorite moment of the movie is the fact that Luffy destroyed the log pose to, to laugh to him. Because <laughs> yeah, they mentioned, well, at first, I got really scared, because I didn't know what was in the box. And they... See, I, I, knew, I, was, I, I didn't know about the eternal pose. That was the one thing I was spoiled okay. on with the movie. Because I, well, I, you know, I, I, the spoiler I was focused, because I knew the eternal pose wasn't going to be important, because obviously, but I, the, the fact that it's called Laugh Tale is obviously kind of uh, interesting right. in regards to what the series is going for. And that was known before the flashback happened in the series that where it was named. So um, I've had, you know, I've had that in mind for a little while. But um, <laughs> yeah, and bringing it was so loopy, so... Right. Well, what I loved about it was that, like, you know, it, 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 it I like they mentioned it, and I was like, oh god, I, I don't want because I was there. I was like, I don't want someone to end up winning this, so I hope it gets destroyed in some way because I don't want to have to. Because even when it's like this non-canon, it's fine. But if it ended up the movie ended somehow, someone had an internal internal pose to laugh. T- yeah, an eternal pose to laugh tale. I would end up being a little worried about the movie as a whole. Cause that, I feel like that's something where you go too far into this non canon yeah. fan service where you're kind of hurting the integrity of the series. Right. Like, I mean, that would be, if they did do that, I would expect it to be resolved in a sequel, you know, mm-hmm. but um, obviously they didn't. So, you know, no issue. And it was done in the perfect, like Luffy way. So right. Where he just, he destroys it. And I like that law has to teleport about cause people are going to be mad at him for doing it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was like the most Luffy thing of all time, and I was so happy that he he made the the choice to do it. It was exactly what I wanted. I was just gonna say like there were some other good lines like because Luffy, you know, he's like you haven't lost to him yet because it's like they're they're sort of but like Luffy is not like fighting like or he he's fighting, but you know it's it doesn't feel like he's like you know he's he's not taking the burden and sacrifice onto himself. You know, he's not doing something kind of out of character for this luffy you know right i didn't i never got that sense you know because again at this point the characters are supposed to like not be sacrificing themselves for each other and yeah it ended up being like a mutual victory and i guess like you know what 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 or the line i i remember during the fight when the pop when the the usopp's pop greens activated um was like you know because the whole big um the the thing that ace says even is like that gets really gets me about the from the luffy the, or the post-war like right after luffy flashback is when he says um you know luffy doesn't need me or he's he'll be fine he has his crew he's not alone and right. you know that was douglas's bullet soul thing is like you know being alone is for the best but the pop greens activated and no luffy's not alone he has his crew i thought about that line and i'm like yeah <laughs> so yeah it, uh. it's so good and it's even like, but you can even take it. And that's one of the reasons I love that the fleet was in this movie and was legitimately helping 
Not just because they were funny jokes, like the moment where, here, I have a screenshot of it because it made me laugh so much. Or, no, I don't actually. It was a different screenshot. But there's the moment where Zoro kind of tells Bartolomeo, he's like, hey, you guys do this and I'll do this. And he's like, Zoro senpai gave me an order. But <laughs> there's, you know, Luffy has more... You even kind of touched on it. Luffy has more than just his crew that can help him, right? He's yes. made all these connections with all these other people. So Smoker would help him. And Law would help him. And Sabo helps yeah. him. I think um, the villain even, or the um, Mat- or the Festa, he even said, like, you know, the, or they were talking with Sabo at, or when Sabo came to beat the shit out of him. He's even thinking, like, about how, you know, Luffy has this, you know, that power to draw people into his pace and, you know, that, like... <laughs> Yeah, they just followed him and helped him, and uh, like, well, yeah, you know, um, it, it's it's good. Um, what were you gonna say? Or what's? Oh, oh, I was just saying a while ago that uh, I forgot how much I love Boa Hancock jokes, because <laughs> they like the first one happens, and I instantly all of the ones that happen, like the moment where Luffy gets hurt, and he asks Boa, he's like, "Are you okay?" It's like, oh my god, Luffy is thinking about me more than himself. <laughs> Or uh, when she gets mad that, like, Luffy got hit. Uh, <laughs> you and, hit him like, twice in again. front of me? Like, yeah, and she, she fucking like, goes wild on bullet. Um. <sighs> or uh, there's another really funny joke where there was, like, the wrench, like, oh, my God, it's Luffy's clothes. It pulls it out, and it was buggy. And <laughs> <laughs> on his nose, too. And a cur- a bu- I will say blonde buggy is a little, is a little cursed. A uh, little bit. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's kind of weird. But yeah, I think that was like, the movie was a lot of fun. There were a lot of moments I I enjoyed for just the, like just the fun of it. And there are some moments of it. Yeah. Right. The one, yeah. It, it reminded me how much I do miss on some level, the early parts of arcs, right? Because I think since really since probably Fishman Island, it's been a while since they landed on an Island and there was the sense of wonder and then the sense of urgency because whole cake the whole time yeah, they even, were in yeah, enemy even whole, territory like there was a i mean there was a bit of that even like just like but it, then it was really relatively small like they you know they goofed right. around and they met pudding and things seemed fine for a little while and then once they're in the forest like and they run like even then it like it's they're fighting cracker and brulee and it's not it's not as serious so it comes later but it's still like relatively you know serious right. so um, especially yeah especially when you compare it to fishman island or even yeah yeah water seven where they land and there's this whole long kind of section of them kind of goofing off and doing fun straw hat things and that like, was one of the things that this movie made me realize is that you like missed, i want to yeah. read one piece because i miss those fun interactions that one piece can yeah have. like even on fishman island like even when they're like accidentally taking over the the palace like it's still framed like humorously until hody jones touches down and that's when it starts to get real you know, so it's like, right. yeah, I, I gotcha. Because um, you're right, it hasn't been, you know, even and Wano was kind of like into it right out the gate with the straw. It's being separated and Zoro and Luffy immediately run into trouble. And it's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I gotcha. Right, and, I mean, obviously, the, the more lighthearted nature wouldn't completely fit with current one. Piece, right, right, right. right. There's, no, it's still it, good. It's just like, well, that's was I remember you talked to me about it before, but in your eventual like pre time skip versus po- post time skip, if you do do the idea um your your main point is like neither is this like they're just different you know and right. if you like the pre-time skip things better you'll like pre-time skip better and if you like the post-time skip things better you'll like post-time skip things better so it's like they're just you know mm-hmm. how you just approach the story is different and that it also works for the story because it is things are different now the characters place in the world are different you know the characters are different uh the tone is different like it, it's like there's right you know a, a character fell into like a name unnamed character fell into a pot of boiling oil ran out and died like on screen with like no real like attempt to even like null the graphicness of it like i mean it wasn't super gory yeah. but it was still incredibly brutal like and so yeah it's uh it's a different series like that would not have happened you know hundreds of chapters ago so and, um, and that's what i think these movies have the almost privilege of giving is we get to see post like we got to see snake man you know yeah but it wasn't in this serious you know making legitimate progress towards end game of one piece arcs it was just kind of a fun you know yeah we got to see him like he did like i I love snake man i like the way that he like punches and then it comes back and uh like he like he did like downward punch and went in the ground and then it came out of the ground so like i guess i guess it had to have because it hit him douglas in the side of the face like 
Right. I love Snake Man. So yeah, it was cool to see it again. And animated too. It was also that's also cool. Um, and, yeah, it was and, the first time I'd seen it animated because I obviously didn't watch the right uh, same uh, Katakuri anime. fight. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, so it, stuff like and if there is an you know some I guess issue with like sometimes they are maybe a bit like you know like I don't know because like there are so many characters like Hawkins he just he had all his lines in the movie were like the same Hawkins lines he always has where he's talking about fortunes and like like that's all they actually did with his character you know like right. obviously so, uh, you know like they, they, they had all the worst generation there. And, you know, they're, they're like, they're just doing the worst generation thing. So it's like, yeah, but again, we talked about that. It's like, you don't expect like any, you know, the, the characters are there and that's what you're there for. So, you know. Right. And like um, the main theme of working with people is very surface level. It's right. Luffy right, has right. a team. He works with his team. The other guy's alone. And at the very end, Luffy says something about how he's fighting to protect people. And that's how he. Yep. You that know. was. Yep. Movie themes. Um, <laughs> yep. You know, it was simple enough. Um, but yeah, um, are we going to bother rating it or? Well, I rated it, so I can give my rating okay. if you um, have a rating to give as well. Uh, yeah, I, I have one. All right. Do you want to go first? I'll go first, just like the Weep Club, I guess. Um, so yeah, I gave it I gave it like an 8 out of 10. Uh, it was fun. Um, I don't know what else to say. Like, uh, aside from what we've already said, it was definitely worth watching. You know, again, like, ugh, sorry. A different appeal compared to the regular series like in a sense just because it is like you know a lighter more um you know not as it, you know it's not one piece by oda it's uh, nor is did i expect it to be but it's just, it's but it, because of that it's able to do things that you won't see in the series so that makes it fun in its own way and it's that it was you know, right. worth watching um so what about you i feel i gave it an eight out of ten as well and i think it's it's very i have like very similar thoughts where it's you know, if you want, like, I assume what probably wouldn't like this movie that much. Yeah, because he doesn't not... like, yeah, he doesn't like these aspects of One Piece. Like, he might like it because it got it has some great God Usopp moments. But even then, I don't see it him giving it, like, much higher than a 7, you know, 6 even. Right. Um, and I think it, it really is one of those things where the more you care about, like, this higher, the, the more you love and enjoy One Piece and its world and its characters, I think the more you're going to get out of the movie. Even like yeah. you said earlier, like, people notice all these small references so like the bigger one piece fan you are the more you like it i definitely think the more you're going to enjoy the movie so I, the only people like if someone asked me if i could recommend this i would say if you're a big one piece fan and you really enjoy the character interactions and all the characters probably watch the movie yeah. but if you like if one piece is one of your favorite manga you should watch it but if one piece is it's passively if you just something like it you read or yeah. like, you like like it. yeah what likes it you know he he give the series as a whole an eight so he would why would he give the movie an eight right you know so like right. like he's actually the only person i wouldn't recommend it to because yeah you know he doesn't like you know the humor of one piece you know he, he likes the payoffs and stuff but this you know thematically the the payoff is just like it, again service level like it's simple enough where you know um you know, so like the 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 thing I would recommend if I were to recommend this movie to him, I, it would be God Usopp. That's what. But um, right. other than that, like I can't see him enjoying it as much. Where we both, you know, One Piece is my favorite piece of media ever, and it's one of your favorite mangas. So of course, yeah, um, and it's it's my favorite like battle shonen. So I have yeah, right, right. So we have obviously the like the predisposed um ability to enjoy this movie. So um, yeah. Yep. All right. So thank you guys for watching. If by some weird miracle you watch my channel and you don't watch Craft Dwarfs, <laughs> you should go check him out. If you like hearing us talk about things, we do Monster Hunter streams. So you yes. should follow me on Twitch for those. And also, if you like hearing us talk and want to hear another man that when thrown into the mix causes us <laughs> to be deranged lunatics, you should check out the Weave Club. It's so funny. I was re-listening to some of the Weave Club stuff and it's like, if it's just you and me, we're reasonable. If it's just you and what? You're reasonable. If it's just me and what, we're reasonable. When it's all three of us together, oh, manic degeneracy and chaos. I don't know how, why, what? It's, it's been bizarre. Um. It, it really is. So let me know if you like this. And if y'all really enjoyed this, I can see about doing, I could talk to crafts. Maybe we can do more of these with yeah, other movies. I'll, I'll or re- other I could, re- yeah, I, um, I could, re- I'll re- we, 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 let's watch every Shonen filler movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay no <laughs> that's a little far <laughs> but yeah let us know uh thank you guys for watching and i'll see y'all later thank you